Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a huge empties, and I mean huge empties. This is like collective over like two or three months of just crap that I have accumulated, that I have finished, and that I want to um, kind of give y'all just some minis review on. I love these videos because I love hearing um, when a person finishes like a full product and actually what they thought of it. So I have lots of stuff, so let's just go ahead and get started. So I have managed to fit everything into this ginormous pink bag, and as as you can probably tell by the thumbnail there's lots of crap in here so I will try to go through it as fast as I can and um, if there's any like multiples anything I'll just kind of like um, kind of skip over it if I have any doubles um, first thing is this soft soap body scrub sea kiss exfoliating body wash um, it has an exfoliating formula with mineral sea salts for fresh glowing skin I actually really like this stuff I mean I completely used it up there's not really anything left in it um, the smell of this smells so good. It's like a clean, refreshing, um, not too, not citrusy, but it smells like the sea. And the exfoliating beads, if you use like a loofah or you, if you use a washcloth, or anything, you could definitely feel the exfoliating beads. And I normally would top this with like the Jergens and shower lotion. And my skin would definitely feel more kind of like polished afterwards. So if um, they have other scents in this, it says new formula, but if they have other scents, I will definitely get another one. The next thing I did finish with a shampoo conditioner. It's from the the OGX brand. It's the Renew and Argan Oil of Morocco shampoo and conditioner. Um, I was kind of like iffy on this when I first got it. I feel like um, when I used these together that my hair felt greasier, but as time went on, I don't think that was true, but um, I don't know. I didn't really care for it that much. I don't know what it was, but I just, something didn't really make me like it. I think it kind of made my hair feel dry. Um, the, I'm using the same kind of conditioner brand, shampoo and conditioner brand right now, but it's like the coconut one, and that one makes my um, hair feel a lot more hydrated, but I think this made my hair feel kind of dry and brittle, so I won't be repurchasing this. Next thing in here is this, I think it's Celeve, C L V facial mask. I got this off of Amazon in a pack, so I'll try to find it and link it down below. It's their charcoal purify and refine. It says absorbs impurities, detoxify skin, smooth skin for glowing complexion, minimizes pores. You know how charcoal is good for any acne or anything like that. Any blemishes. Um, I really, really like this mask. I feel like after one night of using it, my face actually looked better. Like I said before, I've had texture on my forehead and kind of just texture underneath my eyes and stuff. And um, I think when I was using this, I had a pimple. I'm not too sure where the pimple was. I think it may have been like between my eyebrows or so, but it actually minimized the look of the pimple and also did help with the texture. If I had more of these, I would have kept using them, you know, nights in a row, but um, I only had two. This is the only one that I use. So I will definitely be repurchasing this one or the whole pack. Next thing in here is the Bior Deep Cleaning Charcoal Pore Strips. I mean, these things kind of speak for yourself. I'm kind of a weirdo. I like to put these on my nose, pull them off, See what comes out of my nose because I kind of think it's just interesting, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just different. I think it's pretty cool, but these always work. They always pull all the blackheads out. So I've been repurchasing these probably like for two or three years. The next little random thing in here, I have some like random items. Um, this is actually a candle. Oh, I got to sneeze. Oh my God. So I have a bunch of like random things in here and one of them just happens to be this candle. This is actually a Glade candle. It doesn't say the scent on it, but... It was like an autumn, I think maybe like a pumpkin sit, but I didn't care for this. Like compared to um, candles I found like Home Goods and Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and I mean nothing compares to Bath Body Works. But um, I didn't care for this. The scent didn't smell that good when it was burning off, and the scent didn't last. Like you couldn't smell it. So I won't be repurchasing this. I have like another one in my little um, like candle collection in my closet. But um, after I use that one up, I won't repurchase anymore. Next thing is these, um, they're new facial masks, but it's from the brand Yes2, or just Yes. And this one is Yes2 Tomatoes. It's for um, clear skin and acne fighting. It's a paper mask. And then this one, there's like a giant truck outside right now, and it's very loud. And this one is the Yes2 Natural. And now my dog's barking, seriously. Okay, this is the Natural Man charcoal detox paper mask i'm gonna get through this between my dog and that truck um so i use the tomato one obviously my boyfriend used the man mask and um, when i was using the tomato mask i kind of felt like it inflamed i feel like the tomato one kind of helped like inflame my pimples instead of like make the pimples go away as weird as that sounds and um, this charcoal one on my boyfriend, he said that it, he didn't really see a difference in 
um, that mask helping his acne and all. Because, I mean, he has facial hair. Cause he, ha he has a beard and all that. So, um, he tends to get just acne kind of on his cheeks and stuff. And he said the same thing, that he didn't really see a difference. But I also felt when I put the tomato on, on my skin, it kind of made my skin itchy and uncomfortable, which I didn't really care for. So, I probably will not be repurchasing these. I may try a different uh, mask from the line. Just won't be buying these two again. Um, next little random thing that I have in here that I thought I had the matching conditioner with, but I can't. Oh, wait. I found it. So I have another shampoo conditioner bottle fix. If my dog does not shut up, I swear. Paisley, be quiet, please. There's like a giant truck outside, like getting the branches and sticks off the side of the roads and everything. Ugh. But this is the Garnier Fruities Fortifying Conditioner and Shampoo in Triple Nutrition. It's for dry, damaged hair. Again, I really like this. I ha I seem to like go towards the dry and nutrition like shampoo conditioner and oils and all that for your hair i think my hair is dry and brittle just from all the heat over the years and everything but um i really like this after i finished the coconut one i want to try the um like conditioner and shampoo where you put like the conditioner on first you put the shampoo on second i want to try that but this is a double thumbs up for me the next thing i have right here are these dove deodorants and the same thing but they're different so this is the Go Fresh Cool Essentials Cucumber and Green Tea Scent. And this is, you know, like a deodorant stick. And this is the same thing, but the spray. I hate the stick. I don't like the stick. It did nothing for me. It didn't help my um, sweat or anything like that. It didn't help at all. But this thing, this is like my new favorite thing. Now, I love spray deodorants. This does a more effective job than anything I've ever used. I, I think I've used up a pink one and a white one, or I'm using the pink one now. But I love this, but I will not repurchase this one. This face mask right here, um, it's like really messy. I tried to keep it that way I could tell you guys about it. But it is from the brand, I think it's Friedman or something? Free, yeah, the Freeman mask. But this is um, another guy mask. It's like a clay mask with whiskey rye. It's for men. It does blackheads, oil, dryness, irritation, and large pores. My boyfriend used this one, and this one he actually liked. It went all real thick and dried. Um, it was obviously kind of like that clay color right there. And it was able to go into his beard and everything, help with his pimples there. But he actually really liked this one. So, um, you know, if he's in the mood for doing another mask one day, then I will definitely buy this one again. These masks right here, again, are from the Freeman brand. This um, beautiful diamond mineral rinse mask. It does the boost brilliance and radiance i didn't really care for this i didn't really see the point of it it has kind of like those little like micro beads in it to exfoliate but i didn't really see the point of it i mean i could just use my normal kind of um, facial scrub or facial exfoliator so i didn't really see the point of this i actually didn't really use it up because i just got bored with it but um this other facial mask i have right here is the honeydew and chamole chamole it's not chamole i know that uh, sleeping mask but deeply hydrates overnight for dry skin this crap made me feel like I was having a reaction my face felt so itchy and it swelled up so bad I know I kind of have weird reactions to things sometimes it's just maybe just sensitive skin but um, like two two years ago a year and a half ago I put in the hospital for um, drinking some some drink that just didn't agree with me I was in the hospital for that so I'm kind of freaked out when anything makes me feel different than I'm not supposed to feel and this did that so this is a hail no I will not buy this again some little makeup products right here this is this Milani ultra fine liquid eyeliner in prismatic purple um this just sucked I don't know if I got a bad batch or what it was but it was not pigmented it dried out it was like cracky and crusty looking and just it, ugh, I'm just tossing it it was gross so, I mean, first impression, I definitely won't buy it again. It was not a good product, considering I didn't really get to use it at all. Um, this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in 06 Instable, Stonable. I don't know, but I finished this up. I love the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This color was so pretty. It was kind of like that perfect, like, light pink, and, and they last all day long. They're just really comfortable and gorgeous. And then this, this crap right here. This is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. So, I got this because it's been raved about and it's been told to be a great concealer. You know, you compare it to like the MAC Pro Longwear or any other kind of full coverage concealer like that. Um, no, this is not, it did not work for me. I don't know if I got a bad one or what, but um, every time I would squeeze it out, it was this oily, just 
it had no pigment to it it wasn't a concealer and i mean i sat here for i mean just sat here and massaged it kind of like squeezed it around trying to get the product moved together multiple times i tried to make it work because i wanted to try it but every time i went to try this it just never turned out the right way i mean it's just like this real thin oily consistency and it's just it was gross i won't buy it again i don't know what the problem was maybe i got a bad one but i won't buy it again i i don't know i just i, ho I hope it worked i tried but no the uh, next thing i have right here is from bodycology this is the toasted sugar foaming body wash um i don't know where they sell this i obviously i live in texas so i have hebs and that's where i got this from i don't know if this is like an heb only line or what but this smells so good and i mean like amazing it smells like toasted like almonds and sugar and just like goodness every time i would use it in the shower with my loofah it would just like the smell would go everywhere and i could smell it on my skin and it smelled so great so i mean there's nothing great about it it's just a foaming body wash there's no exfoliating or anything like that but for the smell and i think it was like two or three bucks for this bottle i would definitely buy again so i have some little makeup wipe containers here and they're from the Stay brand. These are the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. One is kind of just the norm, the regular pack, and one is the hydrating pack. Um, these are okay. The normal ones are okay. There's nothing wrong with them. They don't do anything special. They just take off your makeup. Um, but the hydrating ones, I actually really like, and I also like the um, purple pack of these that are the sleeping pack. Love the sleeping pack because they're lavender. I feel like it's kind of just you know, calming to put on at night time and it smells really good. Um, hydrating, I feel like if you're oily, I wouldn't use these because they do kind of leave an oily residue on them, but they smell good and I feel like they don't really hydrate. I mean, you can't, you're taking off your makeup, so you kind of just want to take off your makeup, but they kind of leave that oily, slicky residue on your eyes. But um, the one thing I do have to say about makeup remover packs that I've started using my cellar waters is I use this sometimes just on my um, like face if I don't want to use my cellar water all over my face. But um, to take off eye makeup with that, it could be a little hesitant because you feel like you're really having to press and pull on your eyes to get the mascara and all the makeup that you've put on throughout the day off, which I don't like because you don't want to pull on that skin. Now, speaking of makeup remover stuff, this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water and this is in the, I guess the waterproof one since it's blue. They have a pink one. I think they have a green one now that's like matte or something. I don't know. But um, hell no, I will not buy this again. I have a bottle. I bought two of them. I don't know why I bought another one. I thought I would like it, but I'm trying to use it up like halfway through with it. But this crap, like, no, I don't like it. Like, okay, so you think my cellar water is supposed to be water. It's supposed to be, you know, you don't have to shake it up or anything like that. Well, I don't know if the pink one's like this, but since it's waterproof, they have like this oil concentrate that's like maybe a third of the bottle and then the rest of it is the micellar water. Well, you have to shake it up every use to blend in, I guess, the waterproof um, makeup part to take it off. Well, I, apart from that, that wasn't a problem having to shake it up and do that, but it left this really gross, oily kind of residue feeling on my eyes and my face or anything like that. Like, I definitely couldn't use this and then go straight to bed. I had to use this and wash my face because I didn't like the way it felt. And if you have sensitive eyes, be warned, this will burn the living hell out of you. I mean, oh my Jesus. I tried to get um, the mascara off my lower lash line and my liner off my lower lash line and it burned me so bad. I, I mean, that like traumatized me. So I literally went straight ahead on a beautylish and ordered Bioderma and I have it sitting over here because I'm filming a haul with it. But um, I hope that works because I will definitely not buy this again. The uh, next thing I have in here is this e.l.f. liquid liner. Um, it was like okay liquid liner. It dried out really quick and it was black. It was okay, but I just don't think I like the concept of this one. I have a MAC one like this, but I just don't think I like it. So I won't repurchase it. And I have a Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencil. And this is Ginger Roots. This is just the wrong damn color. I don't know why I bought this, but... It's just the wrong color. Um, it's an okay pencil. It's creamy, but you know it's like two or three bucks, so it's not. Um, you don't you don't get anything great about it since it's that cheap. But it is okay. Just get your right shade. And this next little mask I have right here is from I think it's Posh perfectly posh cosmetics it's kind of like unique and it works it's kind of like those individual distributors who sell it out but um i got this little um trial size mask called i'm turning blueberry face mask and um 
It says, um, apply a thin layer on a clean skin, leave it on five, 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly and follow with moisturizer. I didn't really notice anything different about it besides it kind of made my skin feel more plump and refreshed. That was about it. I have lots of masks that do that, so there's really no need for me to repurchase it. The next thing I have in here are some of these Salon Perfect Glow Glam Demi Wispy Lashes. Love these. I use these like three, maybe four or five times, um, and I finally had a toss, and they were gross. But I will always repurchase these. You can get them at Walmart for like two or three bucks. They're like in a, they're like kind of a dupe of the Demi Wispies of the Ardell versions. Really easy to put on. These are what I um, kind of learned to put on false lashes with. So I will definitely repurchase these again. And like I said, you can get them at Walmart. The uh, next thing I have right here is, this is like another little random thing. It's some tea. And this is a Numi Organic Tea. It's jasmine green tea scented with real jasmine blossom. This was a bomb tea. Like it tasted so good. It was so soothing. So if I could find where you can buy these, I would totally buy them more because I've been into hot teas lately and this is really good. The next thing I have right here is this Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. And this is their original mud mask. And this is like the little trial size. You can get five of these for like 25 bucks is for it. Um, one star is enough for one mask, but I freaking love this. I wish I didn't love it because they're expensive. It's like $60 for the super mud mask. But, um, you know, I could just always buy these little things again. But I freaking love that, and it helps with my acne. It just, it all around makes a texture, and if I have any um, pimples or anything on my skin, it just makes it look a lot better. So I'm really happy with that. I will definitely repurchase again. But I think I may have a dupe for it, so I'm kind of like trying to get like stuff together to do a dupe video, maybe like some skincare and makeup stuff. So I do have a dupe for that Glam Glow Super Mud Mask. The next thing I have right here is this Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara. Um, I do like this mascara. It just, I used it all up and it got old and kind of dried out. It's that more silicone-y um, wand. It's not no natural fiber or hair or anything like that. I don't like those. Um, but I do like this. It made your lashes very long. It volumized and lengthened them at the same time. So I think this is like three or four bucks. So I definitely would repurchase this again. And this is still full and I hate this. I will never buy this again. This is the Neutrogena Vanishing Cream Formula on the spot acne cream. It has benzoyl peroxide acne medicine in it. And this crap, I, I shit you not, it made me, I swear, it made my skin flake dried me out wherever I put it and it made the pimple worse. I don't know how it made it worse. Maybe the benzoyl peroxide doesn't work with my skin, but I have like the um, Clinique um, salicylic acid treatment on it and the Mario Baduccio, however you say his last name, um, from Ulta, his drying lotion, that stuff works fine. But that Neutrogena stuff does not work at all and I will not buy again. I mean, it's full. I didn't even use it. I used it a couple of times and that couple of times scarred me. The next thing I have here is this Neutrogena Body Clear Body Scrub. And this is like, I don't even know what color it is. It's kind of orange. But um, I get kind of just little dots and stuff like on my back and sometimes on my chest, just depending like if they pop up or not. This was okay. Um, it's better than the one I'm using now because when I'm using now, it's too thick to put in like a big, you know, loofah to clean everywhere. But um, it was okay. I may repurchase again just because I like the way it felt and how it cleaned my skin. But um, as far as, you know, trying to get clearer skin on my neck, like my back and shoulders and my chest and stuff, it worked if I used it every single night. Sometimes I would forget. Sometimes I would be in the mood to do it. But it was pretty good. The next thing is um, from Bath & Body Works, and this is their little hand sanitizer. This is an Autumn Owl Cranberry Apple. I freaking love these. I have probably over 40 of them. I probably have over 20 candles. I mean, if y'all want to see like a candle collection or something like that, let me know because I would totally film one. That would be so cool. But I love these. Love the smell. These things are amazing. I'll always rebuy them. The next thing I have is the Crest 3D White Glamorous White... Um, mouthwash. Couldn't think of what it was called. I love this stuff. I pair it with um, like my Crest uh, toothpaste, whitening toothpaste, or you know the um, toothpaste to this one or whatever the other brand of toothpaste is. But um, I love this. I've always um, kept my teeth white because I use products like this. So this is a great mouthwash and I really like it. I would highly recommend it if you want to kind of whiten your teeth or anything like that. I would definitely check out their line of this. The next thing I have is this EOS Shave Cream and Pomegranate Raspberry. This is 24 hour moisture. I didn't care for this. I hardly ever use shaving cream just because to me it's kind of like a pain in the butt to use it while you're in the shower. But I figured I would try this. I don't know, I thought the bottle was cute and the pink and everything like that, but I don't like it. It takes like three pumps for me to cover one leg and it doesn't even 
like stay foamy it literally like just disappears and runs off and doesn't stay that like thick foamy shaving consistency i don't like it It was like seven dollars for shaving cream I'm like i don't want to spend that much on shaving cream i'd rather go buy like makeup for seven dollars but i won't repurchase this i don't like the formula of it and the last two things are hits i absolutely love both of these this is the jergens natural glow moisturizer um it makes you kind of slowly get more tanner anywhere that you use it it's the firming one so it helps reduce the appearance of cellulite this is to medium to tan skin tones um, this actually works. I see the difference in my legs when I put this on day after day after day. They actually do get darker. I love this stuff. I've used it for like the past two or three years, so of course I'll repurchase. And this last thing is this Dr. Lin skincare. It's their daily cleanser of salicylic acid acne treatment. Um, I use this stuff in the shower for just my daily normal face cleaner before I'd get out and, you know, use the toner and all the creams or anything. I love this stuff. I love the way it felt on my skin. It wasn't thick. It's very runny, but it foams up and it feels nice. I feel like I got a really clean, um, you know, got my skin really clean, but it didn't dry out. And I really like this. I think it was really good. I got it off of Laura Lee's recommendation like years ago when she lived like in her old house. But I absolutely love this and I definitely will repurchase. So that is my huge empties. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I have literally been stocking up for months. So I'm so happy I finally get to go through that and, you know, just throw it away and upload it for you guys. That way you can see, you know, all the cool stuff that I went through and just opinions and all that jazz. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up for you leave so I know you like these types of videos and subscribe if you're not subscribed already that way you don't miss out on any future videos and all the fun stuff we are doing over here I hope to do some New Year's giveaways and just different things like that so you definitely don't want to miss out I'm really hoping that we can you know roll over maybe 200 subscribers by next year um you know into December but um yeah make sure to do all that check in the description box for the products and everything like that and I'll see you guys later bye y'all